Hello, I've got a really nice trick today. Um, I want to talk about um, the pen pipe design variation. More exactly, how to verify and alternate routing solutions in the conceptual phase. The title might confuse you and make you believe that I will talk about eye assemblies. Uh, don't get me wrong, that's a very nice topic and I hope I'll be able to cover it uh, in the near future. But today I'm going to talk about a different idea. Uh, you'll use this in the prototyping phase to quickly test alternate solutions for routing your pipes. Um, and when you do, I hope you think of me and all the, <laughs> the, the time I've invested in to try and test these solutions out. Um, I know at least for me this will change the way I'm doing my prototypes and the way I'm testing uh, alternate routing solutions. Right, so, um, for months I've been trying to test and prepare a blog on mirror, clone, derive and copy and any other uh, accelerator functions that we can use in tube and pipe. Um, but uh, there's not much to be told. Autodesk has locked it all in and for the most is unavailable so it means no blog for me. I'm still testing though and uh, I will present the mirror command uh, briefly in this post. One of the posts on the idea station on overhauling tube and pipe, it's uh, the 56 actually, is about getting root lines to construction and vice versa. So I'll be able to convert a regular root segment into a construction line and vice versa and in the process have inventor to automatically add and remove pipe segments depending on the line type. Um, that is a really nice idea and I think you should vote for it. Um, head over to the tube and pipe um, um, post on the idea station in Autodesk. Um, but meanwhile, I have found a way around it. So don't go tell Autodesk because they might fix it. So taking this option out and <laughs> leave us out to dry again. I have just finished a quote for a client. Um, and it's been accepted and signed off when we got the call. It needs to be on the other side of the room, the whole equipment and the tube and pipe and presto. If you try to mirror a tube and pipe or any of your runs, you will get a warning message. So I'm in the assembly containing the tube and pipe and all my equipment. We're going to call this the main assembly. Yeah, bear me, keep in mind. So if you go to mirror, you don't get the tube and pipe option. When you try, it tells you that it's not supported. Even if you go inside and you try on any of these, assemble, mirror, uh, yes, as soon as you try to select anything, tube and pipe, cable and harness are not supported. So it seems I'm stuck. I would have to go inside the route and delete some of the dimensions, some of the constraints, drag drag some of the segments around or change dimensions. It looks like a lot of work and what I don't want is spend more time on this job. Um, right. Maybe one of you has a solution but I have tested as much as I could and I couldn't find a, a different solution for mirroring routes. Uh, I mean um, you can mirror it, but you can't modify it later uh, by means of making a tube and pipe with runs. You can disable the tube and pipe add in and then use mirror and reuse everything yeah, except for the run file, the routes, and the pipes. So that's possible if you want to show how it would look like in the mirror real quick. So you can do that uh, by disabling the tube and pipe add-in, but you cannot modify the route. And that kind of makes it useless. Because as soon as you bring it in back into tube and pipe and you try to make it adaptive like you would do on a copy. Yeah, Normally, if you copy this, and you paste it, you have the option to make adaptive, which will create 
a whole set of files based on the, the, the original ones and which you can edit. So that's a fast way of copying a root. But unfortunately, if you manage to do a mirror, it loses the Debian pipe authoring whatever information they have behind it. So the make adaptive is not there anymore. So you will end up with a regular 3D sketch. And if you edit it, I am pretty sure the pipes will not adapt. I haven't ever actually tried it, I'll, I'll be honest. But you can mirror route segments. What do I mean by that? I mean, if I come inside here, and it's working quite well, and I select the things that I want to mirror. If you go into the root tab, there's nothing here, but you can go into the 3D sketch tab and then choose mirror. These are already selected. Keep in mind that I had done a window selection so I had I even had dimensions and everything yeah so if I'll go mirror it'll just select uh, the lines um, you choose one of the planes that I already have otherwise I would have to include geometry uh, let's just do that include geometry to kind of keep it here so I'll click then mirror all these by that plane apply that and the reason I'm saying it's working and quite well is this will remain locked in place and adapt. I just move one of the dimensions and will adapt to the original geometry. Yeah, do too much. Um, but you get the point, I think. Let me just put 100 or something, 50. Yeah, so the other one adapts. And that's because if you look at constraints, you will see that they all have a mirror constraint. So this is working quite nicely. Thank you. So you do have a mirror, but it's only inside the route. And the problem is, although when you click finish route, it'll populate the mirror as well. You don't have the fittings. What I really wanted was to be able to have the fittings coming automatically. So as soon as I finish the route, It'll get populated but you will not get fitting so what I was hoping to be able to mirror uh, run or a tube and pipe and get the fittings as well instead of just trying and placing fittings all over again so it's good enough just obviously far from perfect all right okay so this was a partial solution uh, what about the fittings now well because they're in here I can just place fitting and connect them real quick and, uh, actually the request was to move it on this side of the wall so what I end up doing is going inside this part and created a plane in the middle you know inside the part if you select two faces when creating a plane it will actually create one in the middle yeah so I end up placing the other fittings, which was fine, but how would I go about suppressing all this? Mm, making it invisible in the drawing. So I could just create a design view um, and hide those or level of detail and suppress these or maybe an eye assembly and exclude these. Um, but we're testing something else. What I wanted is to be able to get rid of the original one, but as soon as you delete these, you lose all constraints. So you really want to keep the original route in for the so I've decided to see if I can change the original segment into construction lines because that, that would help. I was hoping, I wanted Inventor to remove all the associated pipes and fittings. Now while inside the sketch there's a construction, change to construction button on the three sketch but it's not working at all. So. And normally on a 2D sketch you have the option on the right click to change the construction. Maybe I should look into customizing and see if, if, if I had the command here if it's working, but I don't think it will. 
So that's where you become creative and we started bending the rules. I'm gonna go up to the top level assembly. And in fact, let's do one more thing. Let's do a mirror one more complex route. Again, let's include geometry, include this plane, and then we'll select. Sorry. I'll select everything and mirror against this plane. Yeah. And they're all here on the other side. And as, as soon as I finish the, the route, all these will get populated um, if I have the correct library. <laughs> yes, yes, I get it. Let's change the. Mm, yes, PVC with pigs. Let's try that. You should have that. And here we are. But how do we get rid of the original one? Uh, making sure that um, these remain constrained. So if I'll change the dimensions on one side, we want the other one. So, nice little trick. Start a new assembly. And let's bring the place the original assembly. We're going to call this the main assembly. The easiest way would be to right click copy or just select it and control C and go in here anywhere right click paste or control V and you're done and it's in here keep in mind this is just a new assembly I'm not gonna save it I'm not gonna bother do anything with it this will just serve for me to be able to change um, segments into construction so if I change the power priority again and I'm trying to edit the route Inventor will complain that in order to perform to and pipe operations, you must open it in some old document. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know all this. We're not going to do anything bad with it. Yeah, we're just going to bend the rules a bit. So, again, I'm not doing anything special. Just select these again. Yeah. And then 3D sketch. Construction. And guess what? It's working. So all I've done is step up one level, <laughs> edit the route, and it's all working to construction. Now let's take a look at the interesting um, part. As soon as I get out, stop. This being transformed to construction line has removed all the pipes and fittings in the process. And this has a lot of potential because imagine when you're in the early design stage when you're doing a skid or something or a plant or really really confined spaces and you're trying to spaghetti fit all the pipes and you waste a lot of time trying to fit them in so um, in those cases you could run several options in one route and then just kind of turn on and off segments for that and test different variations i'll have the two inch running to the left or no i will not i will go to the right and up and down and over the other one and so on but this will really help you um because normally what i do is i delete a lot of the segments in the process i start one way uh, that's not going to work let me delete that move it the other way that's not going to work let me go back to the original one and so on and so on while in this case i can keep all options but change uh, which uh, segments to get populated. So as soon as you've finished changing that, you go to the top level assembly and in fact, this is also working for just a second go inside. When you use included geometry and you include just an edge, yeah, like I've done here say these these edges which normally come in um, construction line and if you wanted to run a route along this line you have to constrain it and do collinear this with that and that's a line and then drag it over and dimension it 
Um, so in this case, I can just use that geometry. Uh, I've got prompt for conduit file names on from a previous test that I was doing. <laughs> so now if I go back in here, change the part priority, go back inside. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We're not going to change anything. We know what we're doing. And if you select these, you should be able to convert them to normal. <laughs> if you go all the way up, you will have pipes in there. So imagine that you, this will allow you to do a sort of skeleton, the way you do maybe in frame generator or the way you do in um, deriving one part into the other. Imagine that you'll create um, offset. Say, for example, you can create offset surfaces from this equipment, yes, and use the edges to populate your route just to be able to make sure that you go around it. That's another quick way of doing this. Um, so I hope I hope it makes sense. It, it'll be something like this. I'll go inside here and then another sketch and I project Just bear with me, it's not going to take long, I'm not going to antagonize. I need to extrude, um, I need to do it as a surface. It doesn't matter how long really. Let's go all the way up. Let's go back into the R assembly where Let's go on to this one. Uh, so include geometry. Now I can include the edge of the surface. Yeah, go all the way up. Change to the other one. Go in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You know what we're doing. And then change it to normal as soon as you get out. You have a pipe right there. So you can use edges from other equipment without routing and constraining on top of them, but rather use the included edge itself. And as soon as you change it, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Why am I hoping? Why can't I just try it right now? Just go 250 in here. Let's go all the way up. Rebuild and it updates. So it is working. And at this point, you can close this assembly without saving. This was just a container image. We haven't done anything with it. All I wanted was to step up one level to be able to convert these to regular. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you all next time. I'm testing three or four more blocks at the same time. Uh, none of them was uh, quite ready for today, but um, I do hope I'll have something at least as good as the one I've shown you today. Till next time, bye bye.